Today's video is presented to you by the EA Creator Network. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to capture early footage of College Football 25. And if you're looking for more exclusive College Football 25 videos, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also remember, everything that you're about to see in this video is still a work in progress. Enjoy the video. What's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another college football 25 video in today's video we're going to be talking about route stems it's a brand new feature in the game that allows you to change the default yardage on a lot of different hot routes and routes that are in the game it just adds a big level of customization to your play calling and the way that you play football on offense so let's stop talking about it and show you and jump right on into it. we're just going to go right over to practice mode and I'll show you the different things that you can do with it. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be able to cook up some crazy route combinations, but this to me is a huge game changer when it comes to offense. And I think it could be a big reason why you see offenses be overpowered uh, earlier in the year, or early in the year, I should say. So the number one thing is you got to pick a pass play, right? This is going to be a passing feature only, and it does have some limitations. I'm just going to pick a random formation out of shotgun. We'll just go with the trips for formation here and again it doesn't for the most part matter what routes or what plays you pick because you can change above a bunch of different things we're going to go against random defense every time and uh number one so the first thing you're gonna have to do is if you're on xbox you hit y if you're on playstation you're gonna hit triangle this is going to pull up the list of all of the receivers, all of the potential receivers on a given play. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is you want to adjust the player's route stem. You have to select that player. So if we look to our left of screen, we want to change Ross Simmons route direction or not direction, but the, the route length. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit square. Now we're talking about route stems or custom stems here. Uh, but one other thing to point out is that look at the hot route menu now here prior in Madden 24, 23, etc. We had uh, an ability called hot route master that gave you an additional four hot routes. Well, you now have 12 different routes at your disposal on any quarterback. There's no special ability that you need there. And this already adds a bunch to offense. So if you look, you got a speed out and in a fade, a curl, you get post and corner routes by default. That is huge. Those are the best routes in the game. Uh, slants, drags. I'll be honest, I don't know what a bang eight is, but we're gonna find out in a moment. You have a triple option route, a deep crosser and a deep dig. The dig is really good against man coverage. So we're just gonna go ahead and pick a post route by pe pressing up on our right analog stick here. And if you now take a look at the play art, he is in this post route. If I want to change Haynes route as well, we're going to do the same thing. Triangle or Y on Xbox. We'll hit circle this time. Uh, and then we have all of those options there. And I'm going to go with a speed out. So we're going to push left or push our left analog stick over to the right. And you can now see he has the speed out. Uh, we'll put Pena on a streak, which is just going to be uh, looking like that just to, you know, get him out of the way. And then we'll, we'll block our running back, LaQuinn Allen. So this is what the play looks like. Now to adjust a different route stem, you're going to start with the same setup. You still have to hit triangle or Y on Xbox. You then want to select the receiver that you want to change their route. So we're going to go back over to Ross Simmons. Remember we had that post route. Uh, now, if you look towards the bottom left of the options that you have here, and I know my face cam's blocking a little bit of it, but you can see you have a custom stem. So you actually not only want to press L1, or that would be left bumper on Xbox, uh, you have to hold it down. So when you're holding it down, you can now see your play art, and all you're going to simply do is press your D-pad up or down. If you want to make the route go out deeper, you're going to press up. You can see it breaks all the way at the goal line here if we want. You can put it down to the 5-yard line, the 10, the 15, the 20, etc. If you want to bring it to its shortest possible way, it looks like about 2, 2.5 yards, you're going to press down. So you simply just toggle up or down on the D-pad. Now, you do have to hold down the L1 button or left bumper on Xbox. If you let go of it, it goes away but you can see i'm now holding r2 that play has been or that route has been set up this way and when i snap the ball he's gonna run you know this looks like a really long slant 
Same thing's going to work for any of the receivers on the field. So remember, we put that speed out on Haynes. We're going to hit triangle. We're going to select circle to select him. We're going to hit L1 for custom stems. And now we can go up on this speed out and we can put a speed out all the way to the goal line if we want. And, you know, we could put it 20 yards deep. This is going to be great. If I mean, it's not great that you'll be in a second and 18 situation, but if you are, you can adjust different routes to get to those spots to try to pick up a first down. In prior titles, we had what was called a smart route. And if you did, you know, certain routes, it would break at the line uh, from the line of scrimmage to the first down yard marker. But sometimes maybe you wanted to be like five yards short of that because you got faith in your receiver, not only catching the ball, but running up the field to get those extra yards. So now if we, you know, go ahead and snap the play, you're going to see. He broke out at that around that 20 yard line or 25. I can't remember uh, where I set it at. And now that we're running this play again, it's going back to its default. So not only can you adjust your player's routes on any given play, you can also change the length of the route and where they break at depending on the route. Now, this won't work with everything. I've tried a bunch of things. I'm sure there's things that you guys will discover that I have not yet because there's just so many possibilities out there. But for example, if I wanted to try to add a route stem to our running back, LaQuinn Allen, we just simply cannot do it. So I'll go ahead and select him. I'll hold down custom stem. He's just doing what we would call a table route, but I'm pressing up or down and he just simply cannot go anywhere with that route. It's going to stay that by default. One thing that I thought would be really cool if it worked and unfortunately it didn't, uh, I'll go ahead and select him and one of my favorite running back hot routes. And depending on where your receivers lined up, they're going to have different options. Like your out outside receivers are going to have some different options compared to your slot receiver, your tight end, and your running back. Uh, but one that I really like is the corner route. Texas routes will be also great on a running back, but the corner route, which is going to be left on our D-pad, uh, look at that hot route now. So he just runs, and we'll go ahead and run the play. He kind of goes out, up, and then back out again. And, you know, that was a terrible pass that should have been intercepted. I was more so showing you the route itself. Uh, but that's a really cool hot route on your running back. Now, it would be cooler if you could shorten that corner or or make it go deeper unfortunately you cannot so if we go over to the corner route here uh, we got that all hot routed and selected and now we try to go custom stem I'm pressing up and down on my d-pad and it's just simply not allowing me to do that now the examples that we've given you so far have been like hot routes where we change the actual route of the receiver and then moved it up or down the field uh, let's go ahead and just show you a standard route by default here and we'll focus over on the right hand side of the screen see the zig route over over here so I'm gonna hit triangle I'm gonna hit R1 to select Pena we're gonna hit L1 to go custom stem remember you got to hold it down and this one unfortunately is not allowing me to adjust it there now if I go to my circle receiver who's running like a 20 yard in route it does allow me to adjust this one so there's no I guess rhyme or reason that I'm aware of on why you can move some and can't move others because uh, one other thing I discovered I mean you see Pena's route right it's basically a zig route if I choose zig from the hot route menu I, I believe this one's a lot shorter right so it still goes into the field and then back out and it's your standard zig route this one I believe because I've tested it before I hit recording on this video um, this one did allow me to maneuver it so it's not for whatever reason right now and I don't know why but I have had other plays in a different formation where it did allow me to adjust that one so here's another play I just changed a couple hot routes around but you can see we got the speed out option here on our circle receiver. We're in a bunch formation now. R1's doing an incredibly deep corner route, but if we wanted to shorten that, and I've already kind of moved it around here, we certainly can. We can do a really quick slant out like these actually used to be in the game, uh, but in this formation as well, which we're in bunch right now, it still will not allow me to go ahead and change the slot receiver, which is X. Even if I put him on a slant here, we'll go ahead and select him. It's just not allowing me to move his route. So again, I don't know what the rhyme or reason is to this. There just seems to be certain routes that you're not allowed to change, but you know, you can play through it a lot. You know, I tried somewhat of a two by two set here. It's really a, a, a two by one by one if you're going from left to right here, but you can go ahead and just kind of play with all the routes and the options that you have and see what works and what doesn't work. But again, just a refresher here. You're going to select your receiver. You're going to hold down L1, which is custom stem. And then you're going to use your up and down on your D-pad to go ahead and change the route. Uh, and I'm really excited to see what type of route combinations I can cook up. 
and what you guys can cook up as well because I think that the possibilities are almost endless here and this is a really really great feature that they've added into college football 25 and for somebody who loves to pass the football as much as I do I'm just really excited about the opportunity with all of the additional hot routes and now the custom route stems this should be really fun for offenses especially passing the ball thank you guys for watching the video my name is popular stranger and I'm out peace